Ain't it funny when you stop talking to a man because he is simply doing everything other than treating you right? Not taking you serious, playing with your time, not even taking you out on a date. Soon as you dub him, and it's been a couple weeks of you not contacting him, there he come, strolling right back in, trying to act like he changed. All of a sudden, now he's trying to take you out. Now he's trying to show you that you mean something to him. And the only reason why he's doing that is because you're paying him no mind anymore. No, that's not it. Maybe it's because he actually cares about you and he actually wants to give you what you want, what you've been complaining about for a year or two years or whatever the case may be. See, a lot of times you women, you shoot yourself in the foot. You complain and you talk all this madness to the guy about what he's not doing, what he should do, you know, and then when he comes back and he's doing that, you want to throw him under the bus and give him no credit and say things like, well, you're only doing that because now I don't want you back. This is the game they play. And another thing you need to be aware of, uh, uh, guys and ladies too, um, this right here is what women do. When they have their own personal experiences, they like to go on social media and try to make this broad announcement to all women from their own personal experience. But they won't say it's from their experience. She hasn't mentioned herself once. She's talking in general like she's giving like this grand advice to all women. Women love to take their personal stories, broadcast it out as like it's some type of, uh, you know, some type of special information, some type of special guidance. And it's really just garbage. But again, this is why a lot of women shoot themselves in the foot with relationships. Because if a guy is coming back to you and he's trying to change something for you, that means you're worth it. That means you're worth his time. But see, a lot of you, you like to sit back and just play games because you know that the guy's trying and you like to sit there with your nose up saying, nope, that's not good enough. Nope, you should have did it before. When da you damn well know in your heart of hearts that you really want that guy back, but you're just going to sit here and play a game. And you're going to listen to all these women tell you, play the same game. And then that's why a lot of y'all end up lonely. That's why a lot of y'all lose your soulmates because you play games. People make mistakes. People are allowed to correct their mistakes and come back. But if you think you're all that and you got so many choices, then, hey, what was you so upset about in the first place when he didn't do these, quote, things for you? The truth is you really do care. Stop fronting, stop playing games, and stop listening to women give you bad advice that costs you happiness. And he realized he officially lost you. So do not fall for it. He knows what he's doing, so I hope you know what he's doing. Because soon as you allow him back, he's going to treat you the exact same way he did when you first was talking to him. That man should have treated you right the first time around. So since he messed up his chance, there is no need to continue talking to him. Appreciate me the first time around. Because there won't be a second. Just don't be delusional thinking that he changed. You see that? What she is telling women is to don't give a man a second chance. You know, nobody can make mistakes. If you make mistakes, a mistake once as a man, you're done, you're canceled. But women can make mistakes all the time and blame it on their, their, their monthly time or, you know, their job or somebody is stressing them out and they come, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. They can make mistakes hand over fist. And they, men are just supposed to accept that because it's part of their emotions. But as soon as a man makes a mistake, it's, oh, he didn't treat you right the first time. He doesn't deserve a second time. Look, everybody makes mistakes. And you have to be a forgiving person and you have to understand that everybody makes mistakes. Some people deserve second chances. It all depends on what the circumstances are. But if you want to continue to just throw people away because they make one mistake, as if you're walking around like your ish don't stink, like you don't make mistakes, like you're perfect. You're just going to end up lonely. And Sally, a lot of these women love to give other women advice. And the truth is, ladies, if you're watching this, is because they want you to be miserable just like them. Women that don't have men are not successful in relationships. They want other women to be miserable just like them. This is what they do. I'm not happy, so let me go put that out there so I can rub that off on other women so they can ruin their relationships so they're not happy either. She is clearly talking about herself, but she wants to generalize it and, and make it seem like it's this grand information for all women. It's just haterade for men, 
in his haterade towards other women. Because you could tell if you look at her, she thinks she's all that. I mean, she's a, she's cute. You know what I'm saying? She's not a 10 or anything. You know, she's got the eyelashes on, which definitely changes her face. That is a filter um, on this TikTok video. So she's not even being 100% real herself. So ladies, I would suggest that you don't listen to this bad advice. Find your own way. Give people a chance. Men, sometimes, look, sometimes men don't truly understand. You have to explain things. A lot of times women don't understand. I think the problem that we have a lot of times in relationships is that we tend to think that the opposite sex or our partner is going to see things exactly the way we do. They should just know these, th know these things. They've been around us for so long. They should just know these things. It's simply not true. Priorities change. Needs change. You should be going to the person that you're with every six months or a year and saying, hey, how's it going? How, does, how do you feel about this now? Do you still feel the same way? You know, what are your priorities? You know, how does it work now? How do you view things now? Because things change. But if you're in a relationship and you just think people are supposed to know everything you know, are supposed to think everything that you think, think the way that you think, you're just going to have problems because everybody is not the same. And men and women are definitely not the same. We don't deal with stress the same. We don't see a lot of things the same. But a lot of women tend to think that it's just this narrow-minded view of everything, and every man should look at everything through a female lens. And women should be forgiven for everything, but men should, shouldn't be forgiven for nothing. Men should just know from the jump exactly what time it is, and they should act accordingly. They can't stumble. They can't go off the line. It has to be exactly what the woman wants and exactly what she sees. And she's talking about what a man hasn't done for you and this and that. And he didn't, you know, appreciate you and he didn't treat you right in the first place. What are women doing to men? Because in relationships, it's really all about the woman, especially today. So women don't really have to do shit for men. They just sit back and say, I'm cute and I'm pretty and I got a body. And I got a filter and I got eyelashes. And I got this nice, nice outfit on. And I get all this attention. Th that's all they think about. And admiration from other women and stares and gawks and everything from men and clicks and likes. It's never about what the men need, about what the men want. And see, a lot of times in the same situation, men will cop to what they want and just completely forget about what they need. And then you get into the simp zone. Then you get into the powerless zone. Then you get into the desperate zone as a man. Because if you find yourself in a position where you're having to beg a woman to take you back, a beg a woman to pay your attention, you're already losing. You should be in a mindset of abundance as a man. So in this uh, situation right here, if a woman like this is telling you, nope, 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 just move on, man. You should have a stable anyway. I know a lot of women won't want to hear that, but yeah, you need to have a backup. Simple as that, because women have backups, you know. You know that thing called the friend zone? That's what their backup plan is, the friend zone. So, guys, you need to have a friend zone, too. And when they don't act right, kick them to the curb and move on to the next one. Get with the ones that are there for you, that want to be with you, that are not going to take you through all this drama. And the prettier they are, the more drama they're going to take you through. Anyway, that's my take on this video. Guys, make sure to like this video. It's very important for the uh, YouTube algorithm. Like the video, comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Again, th these videos are just always my opinion. So I want to know what you think. There really is no right or wrong or anything like that as far as I'm concerned. But I definitely appreciate you guys. And with that said, make sure to have a good day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. May the force be with you.